The piece of aircraft in this showcase here at the, the Fleet Air Arm Museum is the remains of short aircraft, short 184, number N8359. It's the oldest piece of Royal Naval Air Service aircraft known to exist. It's also the oldest piece of an aircraft manufactured at the Westland Aircraft Factory here in Somerset. It is also, again, significant and it is the only aircraft to have taken part in the Battle of Jutland in 1916. The aircraft left the factory in Yeovil here in Somerset in early 1916 and within four months it was taking part in that major sea battle in the North Sea which saw the British and German navies carrying out the biggest naval engagement during World War I. The short here was used for reconnaissance, spotting and fall of shot spotting for the British Navy and was kept at the end of hostilities at the, at the end of World War I to be put into the Imperial War Museum in London. Sadly, during World War II, it sustained significant damage during the bombing and blitz raids on London and lost its wings and tail section. However, the very original centre section that you see here was kept and has been returned to the Fleet Air Arm Museum as a significant Royal Naval Air Service object. It's now back nearly 100 years later, seven miles from where it was manufactured in Westlands in the town of Yeovil in Somerset. The large square lump positioned in front of the pilot's cockpit is actually the coolant radiator for the large sunbeam engine. Not the ideal place to place the, the radiator, but with uh, limited technology of the time, needing a thermal siphon gravity fed radiator for the engine, that was the best place the engineers decided would fit for the radiator. It's got some small view through the vertical veins of the radiator, but very limited from the pilot's position. Mostly he would have to lean and look either side of the radiator to get the best view forward. That was flying at that period in time. This was still very much the pioneer years and what the engineers wanted and where they wanted it didn't necessarily fit exactly with where the pilot would find it most comfortable. The short 184 was a two-seat aircraft, uh, which required a pilot, obviously, to fly it, but also an observer, which is what the Navy referred to for a navigator. Uh, that's quite essential at flying over the sea. There are no landmarks at sea like over land, no roads, no bridges, no churches. Um, so having an observer to focus on navigating the aircraft out to your chosen target zone and then back to the safety of the ship was essential. The aircraft was a very heavy aircraft to fly, large wings, large control surfaces. And so the aircraft has a steering wheel rather than a single control stick. So the pilot can really take hold of the control surfaces through that steering wheel and haul quite heavily with both hands to keep control of the aircraft. So a very, very physically demanding aircraft to fly.